Hello everyone, welcome to our MXXX tutorial series. In this first video, after a quick overview of the basic MXXX workflow, we'll cover the routing in detail. More videos will follow which explain everything you need to get the maximum out of MXXX. When you open MXXX, you are probably seeing it in easy mode, where you can browse and use the Active Presets library. To design your own effect, click on Edit to get into the Edit mode. Now you see many elements that you know from other Melder plugins. You have the Analyzer and Multiband Setup Panel. On the right, you have Dry Wet, Gains, Meters, Modulators, and Multiparameters. All of these are available in many Melder plugins, and there are dedicated videos which explain their functionality in detail. Go to Melder's YouTube channel to learn more. The core of MXXX is the lower left panel, the modular designer. Here, you can wire effect modules and design your own complex effect unit. The pane to the right is used to show the configuration of the individual modules. It shows the GUI of the currently selected effect. There are six lanes on which the audio signal runs from top to bottom, ending in six outputs which are mixed together and can be enabled or disabled individually using the buttons at the bottom. The audio input signal is available on lane 1. The sidechain input signal is available on lane 4. To add an effect, simply click on a grid cell. The effect selection dialog opens. You can choose between the view by category and by name. Click on the effect you want and it'll be added to the grid. The signal gets processed and the output runs down the lane. By the way, Double-clicking on a module deactivates and activates it. Holding Alt and clicking lets you remove a module. Shift-click on the module detaches the plugin as a pop-up window. The same can be done using the button on the top right of the plugin's GUI. Any effect will automatically receive its input from its own lane. Or, if none is available there, MXXX chooses another one, usually lane 1 or 4. A signal will be replicated automatically if multiple effects receive the output of the same source as input. Right-click on an effect opens the Input-Output Settings dialog of a module. Here, you can solo a plugin, activate MIDI input, override the default input, and manually specify the lane to take input from, etc. Also, multiple inputs are managed here, as is the case with the mixer module or modules with sidechain input. Same holds for plugins with multiple outputs, like the crossover module. The number of outputs controls the number of bands generated by the module. We'll get into the details of multiband setups in our next video. If you direct the output of a module to the input of another lane, there still will be the default output copy running straight down. If you don't want this, you can steal the signal with the receiving plugin. You always need to choose specifically which lane you want to steal from. Another way to silence an output is to disable the output lane. As mentioned, on lane 4, there is MXXX's plugin sidechain input signal. Set up routing in your host accordingly to have a signal on the sidechain input. Within MXXX, you can use this as a regular second input signal in any way you want. If you want to feed it to the sidechain of a module, be sure to check the option Use Secondary Sidechain Input if it has one.
If your matrix gets too crowded with modules, you can encapsule certain parts of your setup in the modular block. It works like a new instance of MXXX inside MXXX. You can create feedback of a signal, that is, a delayed copy of the signal to create a feedback loop, which is the only way to send the signal upwards. Just choose a plugin which should create feedback and enable the feedback output in the settings dialog. You can choose a designated feedback channel. Now, place a feedback module in your setup where you want the feedback copy to be reintroduced to the signal flow. Be careful with the volume, since feedback loops can easily rise to extremely loud levels. Use the safety limiter if you are experimenting and you are not sure what could happen. Also note that the lower the feedback delay is, the more CPU the plugin requires. Notice that you can use the preset management for each effect. including the random and copy-paste buttons, so you can copy settings from one instance of a module to another one. MXXX can randomize the whole routing structures. And you can even copy settings from the regular plugin version of an effect in your DAW into the MXXX module version. MXXX will automatically convert and use all applicable settings. Sometimes the external plugin and the corresponding MXXX module will have different parameter ranges or slightly differing features. So conversion might not always be a 100% match. That's all for now, folks. See you in our next video.